Well, you can see that the wall is sagged almost two inches. It's because it's rotting on, on the bottom here. Oh, this comes off. All right, we'll take this off. This piece belongs on top of this piece. This piece is pulled away from the trailer bed. And there's a piece missing. I should have gone spanned here, from what I can tell. How little insulation they put in there. <coughs> and as dusty as, I mean, gosh, I'll bleep that out. <sighs> so, I have to take the bed apart and then get at the bottom piece, rebuild this where it's rotten over there. This is good. Just rotten down on the bottom. You reattach it to the bed. Ah, it's going to take a few days because I have to work a uh, real job. You know, while I'm at it, why don't I just add a couple in more inches of insulation? I don't know if it would help. Maybe Mo Larry Mobile Tech can tell me. I think I'll vacuum. Let's see, that panel will have to come off. Which means taking those screws out there. Oh, maybe I won't take it off. Maybe I'll just take the bottom part off, like cut it straight across. Actually cut it at the window. Or maybe just take the bloody thing off. Yeah, I'll do that. If I can. <clears throat> So, I hit a rock. <sighs> and a weld came apart. <sighs> this end is now sagging a bit. <clears throat> Ow. Oh, I don't know if I can get that bar bent back in this shape. I'll put a, a hydraulic jack on this and see if it will bend upward. And then I'll weld that or have somebody else weld that for me. Maybe Cowboy here at the ranch will do that. Yeah. Oh, well. Other than that, the floor is sound. They sure didn't put much effort in making these things. It's kind of flimsy. Oh, that's as close as I could get it. Oh, I'll get a uh, plate still going across here and weld that together and do the same on the bottom. Get a piece of still across the gap and weld it on both sides here. I can't get it any closer. As far as I can tell, I can't think of a better way.